Hey everyone, today we're going to go over that old bluegrass gospel hymn, I'm Using My Bible as a Roadmap. Now this is on page 20 of book number 3, and this was written by Don Reno and Charles Schroeder back in 1952, and uh, it's been recorded by many artists over the years, so let's get started. There'll be this song in the popular key of G. However, most bluegrass guitarists will use a capo to find a close key that allows them to play it in the key for how their vocal range allows it. The time signature is pretty bouncy 4-4 time and the tempo is medium to fast 88 to 92, 96 around there. Depends on your feel. The strum pattern is a mixture of rhythms and uses the chords and a walking bass line to take a, a slower tempo and create a more update feel like In this, I'm using hammer-ons and pull-offs during the rhythm, just to give it some 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 extra spice to it. I'm going. Uh Which is a pull-off of the middle finger on the uh, D string. And then I'm putting that F sharp in the bass. And uh, the the G chord I'm doing the middle finger again on the D. You'll find that that's a pretty good hammer on in this key. So that's pretty much the strum pattern right there. For the sake of leading a group of people and singing along, we musicians try to create an intro for the song that prepares people to hear the key it's in and which many sometimes will hum to to make sure they have the right starting note. And usually that comes from part or all of the chorus or sometimes the verse. And in this case we have a 4-4 a four, four, G, C, D, G, which is the last half of the, the chorus and the last half of the verses. For performance flair on this, as usually we go back to the hammer-ons and pull-offs and the actual strum pattern and then walk-in bass lines. Those are pretty much your tools and your toolbox for, for playing these kind of songs. So, um, again, the, you know, hammer-on. And your bass notes are going to be... So if you incorporate them, okay, that's the kind of 
of some things you can add to that. But do remember that less is better and keeping it simple and letting the vocals shine is always your first course of uh, making it great. So as usual, this is also a great song for harmony singing on the choruses. So make sure you get a friend, uh, a friend or two to sing along with you and enjoy this song. It's a very fun, bubbly song. Hey, thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this was helpful to you. And I hope you'd enjoy it. I'm using my Bible as a roadmap. And don't forget to get book number three with all the chords and the lyrics for your iPad or your phone. And we'll see you next Sunday.